Today we're embarking on an extraordinary journey straight from the Regal Princess to a national park in Belize for a cave tubing adventure. Hi, I'm Bonnie from Bon Voyage Cruise Travel back again with another thrilling exploration. I've navigated through over 40 cruises and countless unique excursions and I'm here to help you decide if the Belize cave tubing experience is for you. From securing an early tender to finding the exact location to meet your guide, I'll share the inside scoop on how to easily enjoy this incredible experience. This video is packed with tips to ensure you have an unforgettable day in Belize. So let's take a look into the adventure that could await you beyond the ship's deck. Stay tuned to uncover the beauty of Belize's natural wonders and make the most out of your next cruise stop here in Belize. Let's get started. So here we are in Belize. We got on the very first ferry. It hasn't even left yet. It's 6.58 in the morning. And just a heads up, they don't give out ferry uh, tender tickets. We just, it basically you need to be ready to go and then you just go. So um, I talked to an officer and he said, yeah, we do passenger ferries so we don't do the tender tickets. And if we need to, we will. So. There is no information about that because it doesn't exist. But we are on the first one, We're ready to go. It's a beautiful morning here, gorgeous weather. And I can't wait to see what this day brings. Not available to speak She's right not now. available, she's not awake. Just FYI too, you cannot bring coffee or any food on this tender. So we had to literally <coughs> down our coffee and our small breakfast items before boarding. They haven't even made the announcement it's here yet. I just, like I said, I was in the right place at the right time, talked to an officer, and scrambled on board. I'm more relieved now, because I know my particular tour, they said once they fill, they go. So we're going to be in that first group. I got it through TripAdvisor or Viator. I think they're the same company, and I found it online and I booked it and they apparently work with cruises all the time. And this should be fun. I've never done anything like this. I wouldn't say I'm a strong swimmer. This is the, we're, we're at Terminal 2, we, we dock here. The last ticket back is at 3. This is the port. We're the only ship here today, so that's nice. That wet lizard is the bar over there. There's lots of operators around here that are doing the cave tubing and it also is kayaking, zip lining. I guess they bring you to this one area, so this should be fun. This is the brand I use, VIV Tours. So far, so good. It was very simple to find the minibus outside Terminal 1. There were a total of nine people on our minibus and it was about a one hour ride to the National Park where we did the cave exploration and once there we were fitted with a life jacket a helmet and a light location device no not yet uh, Still not the river waiting for us right yes. 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 yes yes working light yes, yes. everybody check their light yes, yes. yes. Good. Libby and i are here so we are here and we're going to be going we have to walk into this so we're going to mm -hmm. do our swimsuits here the uh, heads up you might want to bring some kind of uh, what would you call them? What kind of uh, cure is it? Modest what? swimwear <laughs> is encouraged for this one. <laughs> we walked a distance, probably about 20 minutes, and learned a little bit about the flora and fauna as we were walking. What type of a tree was it? Right here. If you look up, this is the outside. The, the top is the palm. The palm tree is the original plant. See the tall tree with all the spice on it? Yeah. The tall tree right there, that is the sapodilla tree. A what? Sorry. Right there? Okay. Yeah. Um, it is a little more it's minty. Lemony. It's so good. You gotta have one, Lorraine. They're good. <laughs> No, the last one. Oh my goodness. Tastes like lemon. No, thank you. You Film. go back to work. Then you can, you can talk. Tell this right, too. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So what did you think? Not bad though, are they? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, You're braver than I am. Oh. Good for this tree. I believe goes down to the underworld. Underworld in Maya is Shibalba. Shibalba translated to English is hell. You have to wear water shoes that have a little bit of a sole to them so that you can handle the the pebbles and the gravel. And we did walk across a couple river formations that have a little bit of water to them and some current and then there's um, some rocks so you want to make sure you have a good shoe this is our where we're going to be going here <coughs> people do kayaking and they do tubing what a beautiful place it's really nice nice that we did this because they have someone blowing up the tubes at the water so we didn't have to carry them in and it has a little headrest. This is what they look like. There's a cup holder right there, but there's really nowhere to store your things. That's how that you go in a group like that down into the dark cave. So we have, let's see, we have lanterns on our helmets. So tell me about what you think. Beautiful. We had a great little white hike, a hike slash walk. <laughs> a hike <laughs> for 30 minutes. Um, and she pointed out all these different trees that they have and their medicinal purposes or cultural significance, which is awesome. And then we essentially were waiting for another group to finish up and then we to go in. So, yeah. Lights on? Okay. Is mine on? Is mine on? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, pick the booty up. Woo! This is really fun. It's said the, uh, the the water is so refreshing. It's nice and cool. Yeah, it's great. Beautiful. Only for a second though. Oh, that's yeah. a really fun shot. Interesting with all these different. So it's pretty dark in here. This is limestone. Oh, well, you can see sparkly, shiny minerals. All represent figures. Make sure you have your cameras ready. Upcoming, one of the most beautiful views of Central America. Beautiful. There's stairs that go down here. The line tries to go down. The line might These are really old, the line type. Where my friends? That's a sinkhole. A sinkhole or a cenote. That's how the miners call it. The cenote. It's a little breezy in here. If you're ready to experience the thrill of cave tubing in Belize like I did, I have included an exclusive link down below in my description. And by using that, not only will you embark on an unforgettable adventure, but you'll also be supporting my channel at no extra cost to you. Thank you so much. 
they're teeny little bats up here. Those are your those are tiny bats. Those are tiny bats. Get ready to pick them booty up. On which one? Once finished, there are changing facilities and showers for your convenience. Make sure you bring a change of clothes with you. The river tubing experience lasts about an hour and a half. And afterwards, after you've changed, you're allowed to either have some lunch for an extra $10 if you're interested, or you can pick up a drink or a snack. And there are a couple souvenir stands to check out. I felt this company was quite experienced with how to deal with cruise passengers. There were nine cruise passengers on my minivan from my ship. And we arrived on time as scheduled. You'll find a full tour analysis at the end of this video. So it was a great day. It was a half day outing, but we did have to take the first tender in and we pretty much were the last tender back. So just keep that in mind. You do need to be organized with your time or you will miss your tour. There is not a lot of swimming required on this venture. You do need to be sure footed and be able to walk through water. You can get out and swim if you'd like, but there really isn't a requirement of swimming. There's a huge line to go onto the, the ferry tender. We're back here at 2.30 right now. Is it 2.30, Libby? Yeah. So it's about 2.30 and our, the last tender's at 3. So we really have been gone all day. It's quite a drive in. It's probably an hour and a half. And we hit some traffic coming back. So lots of slow trucks and there's just one lane. So you want to make sure that you allow for your time. Check your, make sure you're, you know, you, you get back on time. The cave tubing was super fun. I noticed there's lots of different tour companies that do it, but the one I used was VIV Tours, and I really did like the way that they uh, communicated with me before I even got to the area. They told me where to go, Terminal 1 to the right. They had a sign, and I followed them. You have to be on the first shuttle. If you aren't, um, I don't know how you could do this. Um, there was no time for shopping, but the tour itself was really fun. One real benefit is that they take the tubes and they connect them all so you're all together. There's no rapids at all. 
you might want to bring a water pouch for your phone and because they rent them for five dollars but honestly you don't really need it but if you dropped your phone I guess it would be a disaster so you probably want one of those photo plastic water things you can wear around your neck I brought a GoPro and it was fine and I put the plastic pouch for my batteries it, it was a really good tour I mean there were maybe three or four other companies there as well but we tried to spread out in um, for what we got, I thought it was a really good thing to do. Like I say, these little things like the communication, setting up the, the tubes for you. Also, we didn't have to carry our tubes into the, the walk. We walked in about 30 minutes and over through some water. So you need water shoes, something that's going to stay on your feet. They also rent water shoes there, but don't get the kind that are kind of like thin. You need a, a tread to it. It needs to be like a Teva slip, uh, hiking sandal or something like that. Something that'll stay on your foot. So you pretty much you're walking through the the area, and then you start at the end, and you make your way back to where you started to walk, and then you t take apart the tubes, and you carry that tube a little ways, maybe a five minute walk, back to the central area where some people ordered lunch. And then there's a, little, a couple little shops you can shop at. So, but I, I liked it. It was interesting. Um, something I've never done before. And we saw bats and some, you know, stalactites, stalagmites kind of thing. The cenote was really beautiful. So I would recommend this tour. But again, you have to get an early start. And you have to be in somewhat okay shape. That's how it is with balconies. <laughs> You're everything. Anyway, um, what I was saying is that be able to to carry a tube, hoist into the tube, walk through water, and it's kind of like river walk and some gravel, uneven terrain, a little bit, some roots here and there. We learned about some of the, the trees in the area as well, so that was nice. I really enjoyed it. I do have an extensive playlist on the Regal Princess and everything it has to offer, as well as where I went in the Western Caribbean and some shore excursion ideas for you, so check that out. As always, if you have found this helpful or informative, please give this a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.